All right, so I'm going to give you my thoughts on the Dragon Ball superhero trailer and just what I think about the movie in general. All right, so I normally uh, watch a lot of, well, not a lot of uh, creators, but when it comes to anime, but, you know, a small amount and they like eat them and stuff. And he was basically saying that some of the elements of the movies will be CGI and some of it will not be, which is completely fine with if it's a mix of both, like, you know, and like during some battles or attacks, there's like some CGI. Like we, we, we got, we got like different anime series that does this. So that's why they were talking about all oh, this can be a different Dragon Ball film and stuff. And this is only a teaser trailer. There was already um, some images for Piccolo. Pan looks older. I don't know if she's five or six years old. And what people are really looking for is Golden and Trunks. Like they really want Golden and Trunks to actually age. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I also do want that to happen. And hopefully, hopefully it does happen. Just because it's kind of annoying just seeing Golden, um, um, Golden and Trunks like still the same age. Like it. We just want to see Teen Goten and Trunks. That's all we want to see. We, we, we don't want to see... Uh, we don't want to see anything else, right? In, in terms of... Well, not anything else, but... We want to see uh, Teen Goten and Trunks just because... We've seen them before, and they look awesome. And even in Dragon Ball Super, they're not supposed to look like little kids. But the main thing is that in Dragon Ball... In Dragon Ball and Shonen Jump in general, like Shonen Jump is, is it just caters to a uh, young a young male demographic, right? Like teenagers, well, preteens to teenagers and stuff like that. And you know they want younger looking characters. And hopefully, Golden and Trunks looks somewhat like this in the new Dragon Ball Super superhero movie. What I think the movie is going to be about is Pan wants to see superheroes and there will be an alien from another planet that's going to be a good guy gonna come to earth to aid them maybe he's part of the galactic patrol or maybe he's part of something similar to the galactic patrol or maybe he's his own superhero like okay i go to the different planets to help people right and pan is just so happy to see a live action superhero and this superhero looking character is going to help goku and friends against a new foe right we don't know who the new foe is and i think that's going to be the pr premise of the movie like goku and others acting like superheroes to show pan like yeah superheroes actually do exist pan and if that is the case that would be really nice to see and you know be a different little spin with the dragon ball stuff now a lot of people are also saying okay so if this movie takes place after a time skip, like we're nearing the end of C. I watched Quaman's video and he said it'd be better if the creators, well, if the writers, if they just came out and said, look, the end of C, we're retconning that we're doing our own thing. Me personally, I don't want them to do that. I still want them to do the end of C. I love the U versus Goku stuff that happened at the end of C. They could still do that. Like after this movie, if they make another movie, if for some reason they don't bring back the anime and they make another movie like three, four, five years from now, and then they, they do the NFC and they show in the beginning a little flashback of Oob and Goku training. I'll be completely fine with that. Just because a lot of the long-term fans, they they love Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball franchise. And they don't they don't like retcons, right? They 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 want things to happen a certain way. Me personally, if they retcon it, I'll be completely fine. But I still want to see Oob in some factor in the series because i really do like uba as a character and even when i was younger when i f uh, first saw the nmc which see ended a long time ago because i'm not that old but i was like oh man uba is gonna be the next main character that's gonna be really cool and then dragon ball gt happened <laughs> uh but yeah you, you you know how that how that goes but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this movie because I know there's people that watch my channel that are probably like, oh man, he didn't talk about the new Dragon Ball superhero, um, Dragon Ball super superhero uh, movie. Does he not care about it? I do care about it. I'm I'm looking forward to it. It's funny too because I also read the Dragon Ball Super, the newest manga chapter, even though I don't read the manga, just because something hype happens in that chapter. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this movie. I think it's going to be a good movie and I even hear Piccolo's going to have a house in the movie the piccolo we always seen in the mountains and stuff i thought piccolo lived in the mountains because you know in the making nature and stuff like that he loves meditating we've seen that multiple times 
Uh, I thought he looked like in a cave or something. I guess he upgraded. He got some setting over here and, and you know, upgraded. So that's really awesome to see. And it's funny, too, because one of the most popular videos on my channel, if you go to my channel, is uh, a, a discussion. I think it is the most popular video. It's a discussion video <laughs> uh, where I was like, why didn't uh, why didn't go tense? Oh man, I think they need to change the algorithm or something. But it was why wasn't Go Ten in the future Trunks timeline? It was a really simple video that, and that video got like over ten thousand views over all these years. Which I'm like, oh, how is this? My, I don't even talk about Dragon Ball like this much. But it was really, it was really interesting. I had to just say with the comments because people kept commenting the same thing, and it was kind of annoying. All right, so that's it for this one, and peace.